So work together 8-1 on recording closing entries. This is through the portal. So we're going to start out, it says the completed worksheet of Fix It Now for the month ended April 30th of the current year is given. And we're going to use page eight of the general journal to journalize the closing entries. So the adjusting entries are already there. So the first, if you remember, we're using our strategy of Andy Reid, R-E-I-D, we're going to first close out our revenue. This is on the 30th of the month. So to close out revenue, if you remember from the lesson, you're going, sales has a credit balance. So to close it out, you have to debit it. And then you're going to use that account income summary for the credit part. And you're going to go to your worksheet and we're going to scroll down and find that the balance in our sales is $2,160. And that's the amount of our transaction. So that's the R of our read. The E of our read is expenses. So I'm going to come up here and look at all of our expenses. Now, our expenses, pull this up down just a little bit. Expenses have a debit balance. And so to close them out, we have to credit them. And we're going to use that account income summary again. So income summary is our debit. And then we're going to list all of our expenses. You can just come up here and double click and copy and paste. That's probably the easy. If you want to type it all out, you can. But copy, I'm big on copying and pasting. Makes my life easier. Keeps me from misspelling anything. And so then we're going to use those amounts, 466 and 125. And those are credits. And then 189, 153. And 550. And you're going to add all of those together. Now, you could just come right up here and use that total, but I always suggest that you do the math to make sure that you have copied those amounts correctly. That's, the, that's a double check system for you to make sure that you copied the balances correctly. 1483. 1483, they match, so I must have copied them correctly. And that's my debit then to income summary. So we've done the RE, and now we have to do the I, which is to close out income summary. Now here's where you don't have income summary up here. So you, what you have to do is you have to take your two income summaries here. We have a bigger number in credit than we do debit, which means our revenue is more than our expenses, so we have a net income. So I'm going to take 2160 minus 1483, means I have a $677 credit balance in income summary. So to close income summary out, we will debit it for that $677. And then because this $677 represents our net income, our revenue is bigger than our expenses. And if you look back at your worksheet, you'll see you have a net income of $677. That net income belongs to the owner. And so we're going to close that amount, that income summary account into capital. Capital has a normal credit balance. So by putting this down here as a credit to capital, we will be increasing the capital account. And that closes out income summary. And then the D of the REID from Reed is to close out drawing. 
So I'm going to get the account number there or the account title there by copying it. And we have $1,700 in drawing. Drawing has a normal debit balance. So to close it out, you have to credit it. Oh, I did that wrong. So, so drawing is the money the owner has taken out of the business. And so that's going to decrease our capital. And so we will debit capital credit drawing and that will close drawing out. Now, after all of these are done, if you remember me talking about that, your capital account now should show the updated balance of what you did in the statement of owner's equity back in chapter seven. So let's grade that. Hopefully I got it all right. <clears throat> And then you're just going to post these and I'm going to post a couple of them for you. And then I'm going to go on and let you finish those up yourselves. So our debit to sales on the 30th. And this is G8 is 2160. Since we have a credit balance of 2160 and a debit transaction, that's going to leave you a zero balance in your sales account and close that out which is the point of these transactions so we do have to come up here and put the account number in there don't forget to do that and then we're going to do the credit to income summary and this is going to be apr 30 we are g8 and it is a credit of 2160 since there's no previous balance we're going to bring that balance over <clears throat> See what I did there? I had a slide error. Make sure you don't do that. And then 330 up here. Now I'm going to come down and post my debit of 1483 to income summary. And if you remember doing the math a minute ago, we have 677 left as a credit. Then I'm going to just post one of these expenses and then you can post the rest of them. So advertising expense, we're closing that out. It has a $460 debit balance and we credit it for $460, which leaves us with zero. So I'm going to come back up here and put my 510. And then just for now, I'm going to skip those and let you guys go back on your own and do them. And I'm going to come back down and do this income summary and capital and drawing one. So you can see how that impacts those. So we're gonna, we have a debit to income summary for $677. And that, we have a credit balance debit transaction. So that closes that transaction out, or that ledger out. And then when I put that into capital, credit of $677. My new balance, because I have $743 in there, I'm going to add in the $677. Gives me a balance of $8120. And then I've got a $1,700 debit to capital, which is closing the drawing account out. And so I'm going to come over and subtract that. Leaves me a balance of 6420. And if you were to look back at that statement of owner's equity that we did in chapter seven, if it was with the same company, the fix it now, which I think the numbers were the same, that would be the balance of your updated capital. And then the result of posting that $1,700 credit to drawing closes that account out. So now you need to go back and post the rest of those expenses, which will close those out and grade your final step.